Perfecto. Abro Instagram. Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? How was your day? Good evening. Nice, teacher. Very nice. good. Good, good. How about you, teacher? That was good. Very good. Okay, Is it nice, teacher? Yeah. Okay, welcome to this class. This is the class number seven. Let me open my presentation. <clears throat> Some moment. Okay. Today is Wednesday, um, July 12. Welcome to class number seven. So the agenda for today, we have, uh, um, we're going to, we're going to read the paragraph today, the, the one that you already submitted. Thank you so much for the one that did it. And, um, there are some of you that are still missing, okay? So I'm going to wait for that, okay? So also we are going to continue with the activity that we have been from yesterday. We're going to continue talking about the schedule activities in the workplace, okay? <clears throat> well, let me let me start with this class with this activity. Okay, this activity is related to frequency adverbs. We are going to good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We're going to analyze. Okay, uh, which one is in the first place, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh? Okay. Normally, we use like a percentage, but in this case, we're going to use like a place, okay? Okay, um, if you said always, will be a hundred percent, right? Because you always do that. That will be in the first place. That is always, okay? Which one is in the second? Usually. Often. Usually or often? Often. Okay, usually is, is, um, what is the meaning of usually? Usualmente, right? And often? What would be the, the meaning of often? Frequentemente. Frequentemente. Okay. Okay, which one is more than uh, the other one? Frequentemente or, us or usualmente? Okay. Often it's second. Okay. Then will be usually. Okay. What will be number four? Sometimes. 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 Okay. Sometimes. Very seldom. And then? Hardly ever or rarely seldom. It so hardly never. Ever. Okay. Yeah, never. Hardly ah, no. ever. Never is the last. Hardly ever. Rarely seldom. Rarely or seldom, and mm -hmm. then never. never. Okay, we're going to submit it. No, but no. Hey, what's going on? Okay, 
So, usually so second. yeah, usually will be the second. That means that what we do usually, usually, okay, is, um, for example, you can say, I usually uh, drink a coffee. Okay, not always, right? Usually. I don't know if, if that is if that is uh, your case, because that is my case. I usually drink a coffee in the morning, but not always, okay? And then will be, third place will be often, right? A menudo, okay? And then we have rarely and then hardly ever, okay? Correct the answers. Okay, there you have them. The correct answers. A hundred percent. This is like a eighty percent. This is like a seventy. Right, seventy percent. Um, let's say that is a fifty percent. Sometimes, rarely. Is like a raramente, right? Um. That would be like a 40% or 30%. Hardly ever is como, es bien difícil, okay? Hardly ever, es difícil que yo me tome un café. Casi so that nunca. Would, uh -huh. That will be like a 20% or 15%. And never, that is zero, right? Okay, zero. Mm -hmm. Never. Okay. Do you have questions about this? Okay. What is the name of these uh, words? Do you remember? Teacher. Good What's night. It? Good evening. <laughs> Good este, evening. In, in the fire. Rarely, seldom, I don't understand. Okay, rarely and seldom. What is the meaning of that? Do you know? Mm -mm, no. Rarely is como es rara. Rarely is raramente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero hardly ever, hardly ever es casi lo mismo entonces. Eh, casi nunca pasa. Hardly ever. Harry casi, Ever, nunca. casi nunca. Y really seldom. Ok, como estábamos hablando de porcentajes, digamos que este uh -huh. tiene un, digamos que este tiene un 40% y ese uh -huh. tiene que un 20. Ok. Ah, ajá. Es un poquito más usual. Rarely es un poquito más posible que Harry uh -huh. Ever. Uh -huh. Ah, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Because seldom is, um, ok, raramente, ok. Aquí casi nunca, pero, pero sí, sucede, ok. Casi nunca y raramente. Ok, but, but hardly ever is like a difícil, ok. Difícil que suceda, pero puede suceder. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. No question. Thank you. Someone else? No? Okay, good. Uh, we're going to continue. Okay, now we're going to continue with the activity. Okay, the activity that we have Pending, and then we're going to continue talking about adverbs of frequency, okay? The adverbs of frequency are the ones that we just um, review. Okay, uh, yesterday, let me see. Maria and Liliana, okay, that was room six. No, Maria, that was room seven. Okay, they already did it. Then Carlos and Cindy, that was room one. Okay, Daniela, Lisette, and Gilberto. Are you there? 
Yeah. Ok, Daniela Lisette and Gilberto. Ok. Go ahead. You have the space to do it. Okay. Gilberto, empiezo yo o usted? Empiece. Ok. I get up at 5.30, then I take about breakfast at 6.30. And Daniela? Then... Daniela? One. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you are going to speak about Gilberto. You are going to provide the information about Gilberto, and Gilberto is going to speak about you. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Dice que nosotros hicimos un video. Ajá. Y no, sí lo leímos, ¿verdad? De nosotros. Ella me lo leyó el de ella y yo el de mío. Ok. Try to, try to... Se lo envío yo a él y después pasamos. Ok. It's ok. You will be the last group. Ok. Uh -huh. Depending. Yes, because the main purpose of this activity is that you use third person, that you speak about someone else, okay? Okay, room three, Hazel and Julio, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Hazel? Ready? Hazel. Ella envió un mensaje al WhatsApp diciendo que iba en carretera. Mm. <coughs> ok. Ok. Ok, we're going to wait for that. Um, ok, let me see number four. Katy, Lady and Robert. What about you? Are you ready? Good, Good evening, evening, teacher. I'm Good ready. Evening. Good evening. Uh, give me a second, please, teacher. Okay. Lady, are you here? Yeah, I am ready, teacher. Okay. Kathy, are you here? Yes. Yes. Okay. Lady is no. Okay, it's not here yet. Okay, so you're going to do it with Robert, uh, Kathy. You're going to speak about Robert or you can speak about Lady, no problem. And Robert uh, about uh, Kathy or Lady. So then Lady, when if, if she's um, here later, we're going to ask her to do it. Okay, when you are okay, ready. Teacher. I'm ready, I start, I'm Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember different activities of my partner, Lady and Kathy. I talk about Lady and Kathy too. Mm -hmm. I remember a little. Okay. okay. Uh, lady, she starts to work at 8 a.m. First, she makes a list of the tasks. Then she does activities of the list. Uh, this is activity only that for lady. Then Kathy. Kathy is accounting. She starts words at 8 a.m. Then she receives a report of the co-worker. After that, she makes activities of the report. Only teacher. Only that? Yes, yes. Okay, good use of third person. You have been using uh, the correct pronunciation. Account. Okay, just repeat that. Account. 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 Okay, that is... Uh, Account. That is... Okay, look, listen to the difference. Accountant. Mm -hmm. That is a correct pronunciation. Accountant. Accountant. Okay. Accounting. 
accountant. Okay. Accountant. Accountant. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Tisha. Mm -hmm. Is is someone who who works um in a company, right? Uh, it is related to to the records of money. Okay. So that is the accountant. Okay. Accountant. That is the the word that you want to say, right? Yes. Sure. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Robert. Okay, Kathy. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, um, Roberto starts working at after the college give in the reports. He he starts a meeting with the boss. Um, Lady start her working day by checking her email and preparing a report with the pending activities only. Okay, can you please repeat the verb start? Starts. Mm -hmm. You you when you spoke about Robert, you mentioned you pronounce the letter S, but then when you started speaking about Kathy, I'm sorry, about Lady, you said it's, just mm -hmm. start, uh -huh, but you need uh -huh. to make sure that you use the letter S, okay? Okay, okay because thank you. Because it's third person. Okay, thank you. Okay. Salvador and Wilbur, are you here? Salvador and Wilbur. Mm, no. Okay, uh, we have pending Gilberto and Daniela. So Gilberto and Daniela, let, let me know if you can, uh, if you are ready. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And his work as a man for global import space. He, he starts my work, no, my, her work, your work, my husband, her work, she, 7 a.m. He, he starts, okay, he is, he is, his work, 7 a.m. and visit his clients in the central market. He sells space like garlic in a month and collects previous bills. When? Only that? Yeah. Okay, pay attention. You said he is work. What is missing there or what we need to remove from that sentence? You said he is work. He is work. Mm -hmm. What we need to what, what we need to remove or how will be the correct way? Work. He works. He works. Ah, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you he don't need to use works. the word to be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. He he works. Okay. He works. You, and then you said he is a start. Oh no, that will be he starts. Uh -huh. He yes. starts working. Yes. Okay. Okay. Visits. 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 Because we're speaking about that he visits oh. his clients. His clients. Clients. Mm -hmm. Clients. Uh huh. Then the other verb sells. Sells. Yeah, yeah, he sells. He sells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you, Daniela. Okay. Okay, Robert. Gilberto. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he she, she is getting up 5 30. Then I take a bag. 
Breivak at 630 at 7 a.m. The working day begins, which in base on seeing all day. I go out for lunch at 11 a.m. and eight and I enter at 11.40 a.m. After long, I brought my teeth. My days do not change, only that every hour I had to go calculate and place a blackboard the piece that we carry each hour. And how many piece we will in a week for the day in the only thing that is different. My departure is at 430 and on Friday I leave at 330 finish teacher. Okay, Gilberto. You yeah, you started speaking about her. Okay. Yeah. It's because you are just speaking about Daniela. You said she is get up. So the same, yeah. the same mistake that, that, that Daniela has uh, or had. Because she said he is work. You said she she is get up. So what will be yeah. the correct form? Okay, we are using just simple present. Simple present, yes. Yeah, she, she get up. gets up or she gets up, right? Yeah, get up. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. We don't use there the, the verb to be, okay? Be careful with that. She gets up at 5.30. I am taking a bad breakfast. Mm. At 6 30. We are speaking about her. Okay. You had to you had to mention she because we are speaking about Daniela. Okay. Yes. She, you said she working begin. So it will be she is or she begins working. She begins to work or she starts working. Okay. So be careful with that. And then you started to speak uh, speaking about about you, that you uh, brush your teeth and then and more information. So, but if you are uh, speaking about her, so you need to continue uh, speaking about her. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. Be careful with that because if we have that mix, okay, it's como una ensalada. Uh, nobody can understand uh, what is. What are you saying about her, okay? Be careful uh, when you are speaking about someone else, a third person, it's because you are speaking about that specific person, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let me see who is missing. Okay, Julio. And hey. Hello, good evening. I am available <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Hazel. Who wants to start? Uh, I can start, no problem. Well, Julio told me that he doesn't have so much relationship with the, the people physically because he he makes all his job uh, online. He works in a administrative unit like an UASI, but I really don't remember the, the exactly name. And basically he read, reads all the emails and prepare the forms and, and he does the the ay contrataciones se me va la palabra <laughs> hiring, Base, 
hiding process. Uh, yes, that's right. So basically, he says he says that. Mm. Thank you. Okay, he prepares. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Hazel. Okay, Julio, are you ready? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Um, about about Hazel, um, she checks his email. Um, uh, he had the kit uh, kick off for start of the day uh, with uh, he her team. Uh, she get a guy uh, to his to her team the strategies for uh, for working at the entire day. Uh, she supervising the activities of the day. Uh, she give uh, give the individual support to each soul's executive according to what they need. It's all. Okay, thank you. You said she checks her emails, right? Or you said his email. Uh, uh, she checks her, her email. Her emails, okay. Her email. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because her we're email. speaking about her. Okay, she gives, so, gives. Make sure give, that uh, gives. Make sure that you pronounce the uh, S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is correct. She gives. Mm -hmm. So she gives. Okay, yeah. Make sure that you pronounce the letter S when you are talking about third person in simple present. Okay. 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 Very good. Good job. Good job. Uh, let me see. Um, let me take the attendance. Okay. Because it's time to take the attendance. Bolivar Francisco will be not a radio yente. Okay. Liliana Laura. Liliana, I can see you, but you are on mute. Are you there? Eh, de la de, de lo de ayer, teacher. No, I'm I just I'm taking the attendance. Pasando lista. Okay, okay, present. <laughs> okay. Juliana Maria. No? Okay. Kathy Briseida. Present. Thank you. Hazel. Present. Okay. Julio Aristides. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jose Andres Martinez. Jose Andres. Mm, no. Lady. Lady. No. Okay. Okay. Daniela Lisette. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio de Jesus. Mauricio. Mauricio. No. Okay. Gilberto Benito. Present teacher. María Leticia. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo. Danilo. Como oyente, me parece que está dejó un mensaje en WhatsApp también. Ah, yes, I can see. Ok, Salvador Alberto. Salvador. Adiós, oyente también, teacher. Ah, ok. Así que veo varios, que, varios oyentes. Voy a empezar a, a pasar eh, que me digan por qué. Ok. 
un, una constancia que están trabajando para, para asegurarme que ese es su horario. Ok. Uh, Salvador Alberto. <coughs> Oh, dijo que estaba de oyente, Salvador, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, ahí se ve que ahí ha puesto de oyente. Ok. ¿Qué Roberto Carlos? Present, teacher. Thank you. Cindy? Present, teacher. Ok. Carla y Betty? Present. Ok. Are you working, Carla? Hola. Hello, present teacher. Okay. Oh, Carlos, you said present, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Carla Ivari is working. William Boris? William Boris. Okay. Present teacher. También está de oyendo. Silvia Estela. Present teacher. Eh, Wilber Francisco. Present teacher, voy manejando en este momento. Ok. Ok, guys. Uh, si ustedes están aquí, o sea, ya están en nivel 6, es porque yo sé que es bien fácil pasar este, estos cursos. Lo es. Eh, pero quiero que pongan, pongan ustedes de su parte. Ok, porque si estamos solo por estar pasando los niveles, al final no, no llegamos a nada. No hay ningún propósito, ¿verdad? Eh, me gustaría que todos de verdad consideraran si, o sea, realmente ustedes están aprendiendo. Están aprendiendo porque, porque la clase es buena o porque también ustedes se esfuerzan. O, es, o no están aprendiendo porque sienten que la clase es muy aburrida o, y también porque ustedes no, no, no ponen de su parte para aprender. Eh, puede, puede ser que hay varios casos, no digo que todos, puede ser que hay varios casos que sí trabajan, por eso están de oyentes, y yo comprendo eso. Pero si usted no trabaja en este horario y está de oyente, no sé por qué, razón, y casi siempre está de oyente, entonces, um, no sé, ¿verdad? No sé qué más decir, pero sí, en realidad, eh, ustedes están haciendo un esfuerzo por estar aquí, ¿ok? Sí, porque esta hora, las 8, de 8 a 10, yo sé que son horas cansadas, y ustedes ya quieren descansar, quizás han tenido un día cansado, ¿verdad? Y si están aquí, es porque ustedes tienen un propósito. Pero el idioma se aprende cuando usted de verdad, de verdad le dedica tiempo. Si usted solo quiere aprender el idioma, ¿usted cree que lo va a aprender? Um, porque lo va a aprender, pero no, no se esfuerza, pues lo dudo, ¿verdad? Que sí se aprenda. Eh, sí, yo les, les pido que pongan un poquito más de su parte, ¿ok? Para los que están de oyentes y no están trabajando, me escriben un mensajito privado para saber por la razón que están de oyentes. Puede ser después de la clase, no hay problema. ¿Ok? Eh, y para los que sí están trabajando, pues me pueden, yo sé que es, no sé si estoy pidiendo demasiado, pero sí me pueden pedir, un, pueden pedir una constancia para asegurarme que sí están trabajando, ¿verdad? Porque me gustaría que todos estuvieran atentos y participaran, ¿verdad? No sé si ustedes tienen algo que decir. Ahorita es el momento. Uh -huh. Teacher. Sí, Robert. No, pues yo creo que de mi parte... Tiene razón lo que dice, pues verdad que entre más practicamos y más atentos estamos a la clase es cuando más aprendemos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, gracias ahí por animarnos a continuar ahí con la clase y los compañeros que por alguna razón ahora no están, pues invitarlos a que se incorporen y, y que si es un, 
que si es algo válido lo que se ha ostentado, pues puedan estar mañana, porque de esa manera es la única que vamos a aprender oyendo y practicando de la clase. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Thank you, Robert. Someone else? Ok. Um, lo hago por ustedes. Créanme que a mí no me afecta en nada. Uh, yo solo venir a dar la clase, participan los que quieran participar y ya. A mí no me afecta. Pero lo hago por ustedes, ¿ok? Porque ustedes van subiendo de nivel, van subiendo de nivel. Al final van a tener un diploma y que sea en serio, ¿verdad? Que de verdad ese diploma sí se lo ganaron. Eso, eso es lo que... Eh, a eso voy, o sea, llegar ahí, porque sí se esforzaron, porque sí estudiaron y porque sí ya hablan el idioma. Cuando usted vaya a una entrevista, ese diploma solo es como, como una prueba, ¿verdad? Que usted sí sabe el idioma. Algunas personas no estudian cursos eh, y estudian el idioma por sí solos. Ellos saben hablarlo. Quizás no tienen un diploma que los avale que sí pueden hablar el idioma, pero sí. ¿Ok? Well, that is just a, um, I wanted to say that, okay? But we are going to continue. Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, los siguientes niveles, ¿cómo son, teacher? Bueno, eh, obviamente me imagino que cada vez sube un poquito, ¿verdad? Eh, más nada más ahí, agradecer también, ¿no? secundar ahí lo que dice Robertillo ¿no? de verdad que invitarles a los demás a que, a que pongan un poquito de un granito pues una mía extra como dicen ¿no? uh -huh. yeah. porque pues realmente el, el medio está bien complicado no y, y pues saber inglés creo que aún sabiendo inglés es complicado <ríe> ya no sabiéndolo pues creo que es más difícil no entonces pues agradecerle ¿no? a usted Teacher, porque de verdad que si no, como usted dice, a usted nada, nada le cuesta, ¿verdad? Y solo dar la clase y se acabó, pero sí, pues, gracias por, por exigirnos, empujarnos, pues, porque de verdad que solo nosotros, a nosotros nos va a servir en el futuro. Claro. Como les gracias, digo, teacher. Y como les digo, aquí es bien fácil <coughs> pasar esos niveles, porque ustedes solo van llenando la plataforma, eh, o sea, yo también les ayudo a que la llenen, ok, para, para que ustedes no sientan que tengo que hacer ese tiempo para llenarla, ¿verdad? Dejamos esos últimos minutitos para llenarla, igual cuando hacemos el examen, yo les doy 15 minutos para que ustedes hagan el examen, si tienen alguna duda, y estoy, me pueden preguntar. Eh, digamos que usted se, solo se escribe de oyente todos los días, todos los días usted tiene su, su asistencia. Está bien. Ok, pero solo está de oyente. No está participando. Eh, llena la plataforma y ya. Yo no estoy segura si usted está aprendiendo, si, aprend si al final del módulo aprendió algo o qué pasó. Mm, no voy a saber, ¿verdad? Ahí solo usted sabrá. Pero cada quien sabrá. Ok, cada quien sabe. Ok. Y so, ya. Yes, <ríe> Yo quería un consejo, digamos. <ríe> uh -huh. Los que tenemos como un horario de 7 a 5 de la tarde, digamos, de trabajo, ¿qué método de estudio, de estudio nos aconsejaría? Ok, de 7 de la mañana a 5. Uh -huh. Ok, significa que usted tiene, digamos, de 5 a 8 libre. Quizás no, no. Tan quizás no tan libre, Ajá. pero uh, podría tener. Ajá, pero tengo que preparar la comida de mañana, hacer. Ajá. Ok. Um, Tal vez te he descargar un podcast. Uh -huh. Puede ser que usted. Y solo escucharlo. Correcto. Puede andar escuchando, qué sé yo, un video o un, poca, un podcast, como él dice. Eh, eh, un audiolibro, si puede escuchar, puede tener un audiolibro igual en inglés, eh, música en inglés. So, you, at the same time that you are cooking, so you can listen to 
to music or listening to the radio, videos, anything that you want to listen to, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Gracias. Sí. Teacher, una consulta antes en el, eh, ¿cómo se llama? En el en inglés corporativo, donde, donde está la página, uh -huh. donde eh, hacemos los exámenes y todo eso, eh, subían los videos, pero ahora no, no están los videos, ¿verdad? ¿Los videos de la clase o los videos ¿Sí? de... de la clase? Ah, ok. Voy a preguntar. Porque yo, yo quise dar ahora, refrescarme con el día de ayer porque tuve problemas con mi teléfono y con el Inter. Eh, y no, no pude. Mm, están otros videos. Ajá, están... pero solo está corto. Pero igual la clase está en, en el canal de YouTube. Usted en el, en, el, ah. en el enlace que recibió, bueno, en el primer correo donde recibe todos los datos uh -huh. del curso... Ahí tiene el link uh -huh. en el canal de YouTube. Yo la subo uh -huh. todas las noches después de la clase, la subo. Y ahí uh -huh. usted tiene acceso a poder verla. Ah, ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Bueno, terminamos con ese tema, ¿verdad? Que estábamos hablando. Ok, we're going to continue. Uh, ok, I have here... A paragraph, I'm sorry, a conversation. It is a dialogue between Sofia and Mario. They are speaking about what they do at work and also they are using um, simple present, okay? And they are using adverse of frequency. Who wants to help me to read this? You can raise your hands. Okay, Jose Andres. Hey, teacher. And Hazel, okay. Carlos, okay. Who else? Katy. Okay, thank you. I'm taking notes, okay. Siempre tomo nota de quienes participan. Okay, Robert. Okay, Maria. Cindy. Okay, Carlos, Gilberto. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Jose and Hazel. Okay. Andres, ¿quiere iniciar usted? No, the, I'm going to be Mario and you are going to be Sofia. <laughs> okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, do actually. I I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Thank you, Andres. Thank okay. you, Hazel. Okay, very good. So you can say, I check it. You can link, okay? Pueden unir los sonidos. I check it, okay? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Kathy and Robert. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Katy. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Thanks, Katy. Okay, thanks. Good, Katy and Robert. Okay, now Maria. Leticia and Cindy. 
Okay. <clears throat> what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call client for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Monday. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it one check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Very important. Okay, Thank good. Maria and Cindy. Thank you. Now Gilberto and Julio. Go ahead on Gilberto o, o comienzo yo. Como guste. Hello. Gil Gilberto, mute. You're okay, on mute. join it. I starting. What Perfect. do you what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients to the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to I read a weekly report in attend meeting. I also have to organize a meeting every two Monday. How often do you check your email? Do, che do you check it very, every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is very important. Great. Thank you, Don Hilbert. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Attend. Great. Mm -hmm. Attend. Attend a meeting. All right. Mm -hmm. And also, Thank yeah, check it. Okay. Ahí tenemos el verbo check. Okay. Check and, it. and tenemos el eat. We can you we can join, podemos unir los sonidos, and you will say, check it, okay? Very good, thank you so much. Okay, William Roque, okay, and I remember Carlos. Carlos, okay. you want to participate? Okay, Hello. Will, William and Carlos, yes. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, William, are you there? Are you ready? Hello, William. William? Hola, hola. Okay. Uh, yes. I okay. will be Sofia. You are Mario. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I'll call clients for the rest of the morning. What, what about you? Carlos? I have to read a weekly report and attend some meetings. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it, check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it one or two a day. Okay. Great. It is very important. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you so much, both of you. Very good. Very good. So that is what Sophia and Mario do at work, right? They uh, do all these activities. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue with the average of frequency. Do you remember that we, uh, at the beginning, we started with one activity related to adverse of frequency? Okay, mm, it is the same that we have in the video. There is a video here. If you want, I can send it to you by chat and you can check it later. Um, but it's... 
Okay, I will do it. But it's the same that we have here. Okay, uh, who wants to read the examples that we have here? You can read the, the advert and then you can read the examples. Me teacher. Okay. Me teacher. Okay. Um, adverbs of frequency. Always. I always, oh, excuse me, an advert or frequency tell us how often something takes place. For example, always. I always wake up at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read the other one. Okay, usually. I usually come home after work. And then, normally or generally, I normally swim after school. Often or frequently, I often spend Christmas with my friends. Sometimes, I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Occasionally, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Seldom, I seldom go to the library. Rarely, I rarely listen to the rock radio never i never listen to rock music mm -hmm. thank you very good occasionally okay. occasionally mm -hmm. occasionally okay. yes rarely rarely mm -hmm. very good rarely yes very good here you if you realize we have more more adverbs of frequency okay frequency okay it's, it sounds like like e free frequency okay um we have more than the previous activity we have normally or generally frequently occasionally okay so and here you have the percentage how they are used Okay, how often? Okay, so Jose Andres, you, you told me that you want to read them too. Go ahead. Uh, I read the, all the sentences too. Mm -hmm. Okay, always. I always wake up at six o'clock. Usually, I usually come home after work. Normally or generally, I normally swing after school. Often, frequently, frequently, I often, frequently, okay? I often spend Christmas with my friends. Sometimes, I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Occasional, occasionally, I occasionally eat Vietnamese, Vietnamese food, seldom, I seldom go to the library. Rarely, I rarely listen to the radio. Never, I never listen to rock music. Okay, good. Frequently. Okay, frequently. Frequently, okay. Frequently. Mm -hmm. It's like a frequent and then li, frequently. Frequently. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Good you job. Said you can put occasionally. Occasionally. Oh, you want to listen to the pronunciation? In, in the robot. Yes. <laughs> in the robot. <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. Occasionally. Okay. Occasionally. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let me send the video to you. Here is the video. Cannot reproduce the video here, but let me send the link. Okay, here. 
Okay. Rolando Danilo says yesterday was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand that situation, Rolando. It's okay. Okay. I'm not talking because of you. So, but yeah, just let me know in advance in a private message. Okay. The reason why will be you will be uh, just like a listener. Okay. Because um, I don't I don't know the cases. Okay, let me send it by WhatsApp too. Let me send the link by WhatsApp. When you have time, you can reproduce a video. Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What kind? Uh... Of both cup you recommend recommend us what kind of uh podcast do you uh podcast. will recommend yes podcast mm -hmm. um there are a lot of topics and you decide i mean the topic that you want to to listen to uh if you per, if for example you want to to know about how to release the stress that is one example so you can use one related to that topic um, okay mm -hmm. so any topic okay. any topic related uh, to uh, real life right that you want to learn more about that so at the same time that at the same at the same time that you are learning about the topic you are practicing your listening skills Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Okay. Here we have another conversation between Peter and Alex. It's talking about jobs. Okay. And, and also here we have a simple present tense, third person. And also we have um adverse of frequency okay so the the purpose is practice all the topics that we have been studying in this paragraph okay um i want that you read first in case you have uh like a mispronunciation so i'm going to give you feedback is that okay who wants to be volunteer okay jose Maria, okay. Maria Leticia. Okay, then we have Hazel. Robert. Okay, Cindy. Carlos. And we have Daniela. And Gilberto. Okay. Okay, first Jose and Maria, go ahead. Okay, I start. Hello, can I ask you some questions? Yes, you can ask, uh, ask as many questions as you want. Thank you for taking the time. Now, the first question, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. I design magazines, brochures, and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife I do? What does your wife do? <laughs> She's a teacher. Where does she teach? She teach at a public school in China. Chennai. 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 Do you have any children? Yes, we have two children, a boy and a girl. Do you want to watch movies? Occasionally. Do you, do, do you watch movies? I'm sorry. Occasionally. Occasion. Oh, I. <laughs> oh. Occasionally. 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 
I'm not really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What type of books do you read? I really like detective novels. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha Christie. Okay. Do you do you exercise? Yes, I am very health conscious. Health? Health, health conscious. Conscious. Okay. Okay. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private gym to my wife, so my wife and I can work or whenever. We can too. Do you we like want, to go? We want to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you like to go on a holiday? Of course, I do. But we rarely go, go on vacation. I have a crazy working shuttle that prevents me from taking holidays. Okay. 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 Very good, Jose Andres. Maria Leticia, I have some observations. Okay. Okay, but let me poner el robot, como dijo Carlos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Public. Okay. okay. Public. 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 It is not like public. It is pa, uh, like a ah. Uh. Public. 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 Okay. It's like a o. Oh, it's a public school. You. Public. Uh huh. Public, public. school. Okay. Public. Rarely. Si no me creen a mí. Rarely. 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 Okay, then we have schedule. 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 Okay. Be careful with that words. Girl. Girl. Mm -hmm. Girl. 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 A boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Least. Mm -hmm. At least four times a week. At least. Least. Like least. A, it is like a list, right? Como una lista. Least. Mm -hmm. That is pronunciation. Uh -huh. Least. Okay. Okay. And then the other word that I. Private. Private. That is the other word that I uh, note. Private. 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 Okay. Private. I go to a private gym so my wife and, and I can work out whenever we want to. Okay, that means that we can exercise right? whenever, cuando queramos, when we want to. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Jose and Maria Leticia. Okay, now Hazel and Robert. Okay. Uh, hello, can I ask you some questions? Yes, you can ask as many questions as you want. Thank you for taking the time. Now, uh, the first question, what do you do? I'm a graphic designer. I design magazine, brochures, and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She's a teacher. Where does she teach? She teach at a public school in Chennai. Do you have any children? Yes, we have two children, a boy and a girl. Do you watch movies? 
occasionally. I not really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What type of books do you read? I really like detective novels. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha, Agatha Chrisley. Do you exercise? Yes, I very health conscious. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a private gym so my wife and I can work out wherever we want to. Do you like to go on a holiday? Of course I do, but we rarely go on vacation. I have a crazy working schedule then that prevent me, me from taking holidays. Okay, thanks, Roberto. Very thanks, good. Thanks, Heisa. Very good, both of you. Just, uh, Robert, I have three words that I note. Teaches. Okay. In this case, we are talking about, about she, right? Teaches teaches okay because we add the e and, and the letter s e s teaches okay teaches, teaches. Uh -huh. dear person yeah the other word that was private 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 gene okay private gene and here we have also third person rule prevents 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 Okay. Prevents. Thanks, good. teacher. Good, very good. Thank you so much. Now, Cindy, Cindy and Carlos. Okay. Uh, maybe would be Peter. Uh, Cindy, are you ready? Yes. Okay. 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 Cindy. Hello. Excuse me. Yes, uh, Cindy will be Peter and you will be Alex. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. Hello, can I ask you some questions? Yes, you can ask as many questions as you want. Thank you for taking the time. Now, the first question, what do you do? And I am a graphics designer uh, I design magazines, brochures, and website. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She is a teacher. What does she teach? She teaches at the public school in Chennai. Do you have any children? Yes, we have two children, a boy and a girl. Do you watch movies? Occasionally. I am not really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What kind of book do you read? I really like the detective novels. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha Christie. Do you exercise? Yes, I am very health conscious. How often do you exercise? I exercise at least for tiny week. I go to a private gym, so my wife, my wife and I can work out whenever we want to. Do you like to go on a holiday? <clears throat> Of course, I do, but we readily go on vacation. I have a crazy working schedule that prevent me from taking holidays. Thank you. Uh, very good. Very good. Thank you. Health. Just that word. Health. Health. Health conscious, right? This okay. one, what's mean health conscious? Health conscious means that 
you a, que usted está consciente de su salud. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I am very health conscious. Health. Health. Health conscious. Health conscious. Mm -hmm. Health. Okay. Health. Okay. Listen health. to the pronunciation at the end. Health. 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 It is like a F. Like health. a F. F. Like a F. Like health. A health. Health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Health. Health. Okay. Conscious. Yes. Okay, Very good. Thank you. thank you. Now, Daniela and Gilberto. Okay. Okay. Hi, Daniela. Yo empiezo. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, you can ask. And many questions, and you want? Thank you for taking the time. Now, the first question: What do you do? I am graphic designer. I design magazine brochure and website. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She is a teacher. Where does she teach? She is a teacher at public school in Chennai. Do you have any children? Yeah, we have two children, a boy and, and a girl. Do you watch movies? Occasionally, I am not really like movies. I prefer to read a book. What type of books do you read? I really like detective novel. Who is your favorite writer? Agatha Christie. Right. right. Do you exercise? Yes, I am very ill conscious. How, how often do you exercise? I exercise at least for time a week, I go to a private gym to make wise, I can work out wherever we want to. Do you like to go on a holiday? Of course, I do, but we really, really, I go on vacation. I have crazy work in Chugle that prevent me from taking holidays. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Married. Repeat that. Married. Daniela. Married. 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 Mm -hmm. Married. Okay. Um, Gilberto. Girl. 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 Yeah. Repeat that. Girl. Yes. You can take dots also the difficult words for you, and then you can make a review later. Okay. Health. 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 Okay. Private. 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 Okay. That is another word. And schedule. 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 Okay. Yeah. You can record your voice in your cell phone right now. That is very easy that you can do that. Uh, and then listen to you, okay? And you can listen to a, a online dictionary like this one and compare, compare the pronunciation and what you need to improve, okay? Okay, Okay, good. Thank you so much. Now, Silvia and Julio. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. Hi. Go ahead. Okay. Eh, Silvia, ¿qué persona desea hacer? Eh, Peter. Okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. Hello, can I ask you some question? Yes, uh, you can ask as many questions as you want. Uh, thank you for, ta for taking the time. Now, the first question, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. I design magazines, brochures, and websites. Are you married? Yes, I am. What does your wife do? She's a teacher. Ah, where does she teach her? Uh, she teaches at a public school in Chennai. Do you have uh, any children? Uh, yes, we have two children, a boy, a boy and a girl. Uh, do you want a movie? Occasionally. I don't really like movies. I prefer to, re uh, to read a book. Uh, what type of book do you read? I really like detective, uh, detective uh, novels. Uh, wow. Well, can I read? Who is your favorite right? Agatha Christie. Do you exercise? Uh, yes, I am very health conscious. How do you often do you exercise? I exercise at least four times a week. I go to a, a private gym. Uh, so my wife and I uh, can work out uh, whenever. Uh, we want do, you, to. do you like to go on a holiday? Of course, I do. Uh, but um, we rarely go on vacation. I have a crazy, uh, crazy working schedule that's preventing me from taking holiday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, both of you. Okay, uh, Sylvia. Where does she teach? Okay, because that is a question. But right? where does she teach? Where so, does she teach? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the answer is the when we're going to add yes, teaches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, writer. What is your favorite writer? Writer. Yes, because we are speaking about the person who wrote mm -hmm. the book. Ah, no. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Es que yo dije, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, writer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. List here, Julio. Exact. At, mm -hmm. at least. List. Okay, at, list. At least. Okay, thank you. Okay. Questions about this conversation? Vocabulary new, new vocabulary. Well, that is interesting, right? Because there we are. Uh, the new vocabulary. Yeah, if you have new vocabulary, let me know. So uh, in- Website. Website is any uh, online website. For example, if you visit uh, Tigo, www.cdsca.com uh -huh. Yeah, all of the companies that Ah, have website. Yeah, uh -huh. Websites. Okay. What else? What else do you do you have? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what, what's the mean? What the mean health conscious? Conscious, consciente. Conscious. Mm -hmm. I teacher. am very health conscious. Yes. Who said? Who teacher, said? Where is Chennai? Chennai. I guess it's in China, <laughs> because the the the, China. the name of the the. It's a name of the school. 
the name of the city. It's like a city. Uh huh. Let me see China. Uh, see that okay. India. Oh no, it's in India. It's a Chennai. What is located? It's a place. Yes, it is. A India place. is. Uh huh. It's in India. Chennai. Mm -hmm. Where is Chennai located? India. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Someone else? Mm -hmm. Teacher, how can I say when the Chennai is close to the beach? It is. According to the map, it is. Okay. How you can say... It is, como digo, está sobre la costa o... o, o... It's over. Over. Mm -hmm. Over. Over. Okay, so is Chennai is over. It's over uh, the coast. The, the coast. coast. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Over the sea. Over the like, sea. Or oh, oh, it is, oh, the, oh, it is um, near to the sea. Uh -huh. Near, porque si es over, it's near. Sea, Sería como que está sobre, pero no puede estar sobre. Ok, okay. that oh, will close be to the, near. To the sea. Uh -huh. Close to the sea, yes. Ok. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Chennai. Ok. Another question. Eh, teacher, eh, donde, en el último párrafo donde dice... She, Schedule o como es? Schedule. 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 Ajá. I don't remember. I okay. don't remember. My one example. Working? My example. Mm -hmm. uh, my schedule with you is from Monday to Friday mm -hmm. between a mm -hmm. p.m. to 10 p.m. That is mm -hmm. the, our uh -huh. schedule. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Between. You can say uh, when you mention like the days, right? You can say between, between mm -hmm. a Monday uh -huh. to Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about if you are talking about your working schedule, that means the days that you work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay. What else, guys? What's really good, this conversation, right? Okay, good. We're going to continue. I have some exercises here about how to use adverse of frequency. Pay attention because later we're going to do an exercise doing some sentences, how to use adverse of frequency. Okay, this is a, a scrambled sentence. How we're going to order these sentences? I will help you. Mm -hmm. Always. Always. Get up. Get up. Six. Get up. Six. At six. Okay, very good. Uh huh. I. I am never late for never late late for late for class. Okay. We ever fat food. Okay. We ever eat fast food. Okay. This is one question, but we use uh, adverse of frequent, frequency. What do you? But what usually, what do you usually? Do you usually? What usually do you? Mm -hmm. No. What do you usually? What do you? 
What do you use? So you what usually... do you do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what time? Mm -hmm. what time? What time? Do you usually finish, finish work? work? Oh, finish. Okay. Say, am I? My parents. My parents. Often. Don't. Often. Often listen to the radio. To the radio. To the radio. Okay. Very good. Pay attention to the order, okay? My brother. My. My brother, brother always brother. Is, is hungry at last time. He's always, he's always at hungry at lunch time. Hungry at lunch time. Okay. We 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 don't, we don't work. We don't, don't we don't we don't we don't always um, always. Uh, do, do homework, homework or, or, or homework. Home homework. homework. <laughs> okay, very good. Sería, do, do you do, 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 do you do every, do every day? day? Do, do you do that work? You do? do you try every day? Ah. Every do day. Do you try? Every... Uh, to work every day. To work every day. Mm -hmm. Do you drive to work every day? Okay. Yeah. Or, 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 or morning teacher. Is... Or teacher. Mm -hmm. drink. Always, Always drinks. Drink always, always, always drink, drink, drink in coffee in the morning. In the morning. Or in the in morning. The morning. Okay, is true, teacher? Not always, or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or <teacher>. usually, <laughs> or, yeah, or teacher. Drink coffee. Coffee in the morning. Drink coffee. Every morning. That was that was yeah, that was the same, right? Okay. There you have all the sentences. Okay. Identify where is located the average of frequency. That will help you. Where is located in the sentence? My brother, ah, oh, pardon, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Where the uh, address After is... to the subject. After the subject, before Teacher, the main there is a structure. Yeah. Before the verb. Yeah, before the verb. Mm -hmm. Before to the verb. Before the main verb, okay? Always will be before... The main verb, okay. The verb, the main verb. Okay. This case is before the um ad advert i guess yeah this is an advert let me see let me let me google it because i'm not sure late 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 yeah it is an advert uh-huh it's before the advert because we don't have a bear here right the bear um to be will be uh, before the, it's the bird to be yeah but that will be before the adverb okay the adverb of frequency okay uh okay. here you can see that is before the main verb also here is before the main verb that is finish also here is before the main verb that is listened here is before the oh, uh -huh. Always <clears throat> hungry. Hungry is also an, uh, an adverb. So let me see. Hungry. Offer to the bird to be in uh -huh. this case. Uh, 
after the birth to be oh no this is an adjective i'm sorry hungry is because he's describing that his brother has what well, how the brother is at lunch time yes but is the after the birth to be and the adjective here it will be after the main birth here is acting do is acting like a, the main the main birth here will be oh here we don't have we have every day uh, every day will be here the adverb frequency okay every day but in this case every day it will be used at the end that is the exception okay and then here we have it before the main birth and number 10 it is talking about every morning that is similar with every day okay good uh do you have questions about this they share it is true that you drink coffee in the morning i usually drink coffee usually, oh, usually. Okay. yeah because sometimes no, if, my, sure. if my if my if my breakfast is uh milk and cereal i don't drink coffee um sometimes okay. i i drink a tea mm -hmm. okay yeah okay very good we have here more Amer american coffee teacher american coffee <laughs> i like uh, juan, yeah. juan valdez coffee there are different flavors, you know? <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher, the yes. almendra. <laughs> I'm, drinking, the <laughs> I'm drinking the one, the chocolate one now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. But not always I drink <laughs> coffee, okay? But usually, probably uh, four times a week. And the other three days I can vary. I can... Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Only in the morning, not in the afternoon. Okay, good. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this one first, and then we're going to do the other one. But let me see. Okay, here. Let me just make it bigger. Which sentence it is correct according to what you have studied before? Number well, letter B. Teacher E. A. Letter A. What do you remember that the verb to be will be? Mm -hmm. Is before, the, the, before the May berries before. No, here we don't have a bear. Oh, after to after to be. Uh -huh, okay, in this case, will be after. Bird. After. Bear to be mm -hmm. and late mm -hmm. that this case will be another adverb okay okay later on we're going to see the if that is good or not number two what will be the correct sentence a eight never we eat fat food is correct we be careful it, it uh, yes letter b H. Letter D. D, right? Yes, letter D, exactly. Because it is before the main period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, number
Um leiðir D. Leiðir D. Leiðir D. Harley Ever. Football on TV. Leiðir D. Harley Ever. Football on TV. Okay, very good. A. Four. This is one question. Letter, letter B. Uh, letter C. No, pardon. Letter, letter B. Letter B. B. Letter B. B. Letter B, teacher. B. 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 <laughs> letter B, C or D? <laughs> yes, do you yes, often? Yes. Letter, letter B. B. <laughs> do you often go to the cinema? Okay. Five. Okay. Next page because we have ten exercises. Mm hmm. B. B. R B. B. Yeah, B. Remember when we use every week? Will be? When? Where? When we use every week? In the last week? of the sentence. Um, B. C. 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 I have, I have piano lessons every every week. Every week. After the there. Mm -hmm. A. Pay attention. Where is the bird to be? Mm -hmm. B. B? B. Or B. D? Letter, letter B. Letter, letter B. B. Or they are. Uh -huh. yeah. They are always very tired after the match. Okay. Number eight. 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 Three. Eight. Mm -hmm. This is the main verb. Ha, we, ah. we always have mm -hmm. breakfast at home. Letter B. She often Letter B, teacher. Letter D. Letter D. Okay, she doesn't, she doesn't often, often wear jeans. And number 10. C. Letter C. Which is tired sometimes. Remember what we said about the A? Mm -hmm. A. Because <clears throat> the adjective that describes the action or the feeling is or, or should be or has to be after the average or frequency, right? So in this case, tire will be after sometimes. Okay, good. It's a moment to check the answers. <clears throat> wow, we got a okay. 10. 10 from 10, okay? 
<clears throat> and we have an explanation. That is what I like it. Look at this. That was the correct sentence. That our teacher is often late. Adverbs of frequency go before the verb, but after the verb B. Okay. In questions, adverbs of frequency go after the auxiliary verb plus a subject. Do you have questions about number one? No? Okay, number Be sure two. Before, before to the, the main verb. After them, the verb, be. En este caso, tenemos el verbo be aquí. El verbo to be aquí. Look at this. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, number two. Adverbs of frequency go before the verb. We never eat before. The adverb of frequency is never. And go before the bear that is eat. What about number three? Adverbs of frequency go before the bear. Before the bear, this one. Okay, um, the adverbs never, hardly ever, almost never have negative meaning. Mm -hmm. But they are used with a positive verb. So it means that if, if you already ha have these adverbs here, you don't have to use doesn't because it's, it's already negative, right? Look at this. It is incorrect. Do you have questions about this? If you use this ver these adverbs, negative adverbs, you don't have to use negative form here. Okay. Only use uh, for the that adverb with, with sentences in positive. Mm -hmm. Just the adverb and then everything uh, like a positive. Okay. okay in questions, adverbs of frequency go after the subject. After the subject. This is the subject. The adverb will be here. Do you often go to the cinema? Mm -hmm. In question, teacher. When is a question? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Number of frequency go up for the subject. Correct. Okay, look at okay. this example. We are using usually here, right? So in negative sentences, estas son negativa porque tenemos doesn't. He doesn't usually go to the bed late. Okay. In negative sentences, the adverb of frequency goes after. <clears throat> Don't or doesn't. Okay, in this case, after the doesn't, we have the adverb of frequency that is usually. Teacher, in this case, we don't use uh, other frequency, for example, hardly ever. Mm -hmm. No, because um, well, if we only use hardly, positive sentence. only positive, uh, like a positive, um, this is a positive, sentence? right? Positive uh, frequency, average of frequency. If we use okay. hardly ever, it is negative, right? So you don't, we don't... Ah. We okay. don't have to use doesn't. It's like a, a duplicate. Uh, that ma that makes sense. Yeah, it is like oh, a du sense. duplicating the negative form, right? Okay, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. 
I had a piano lessons every week. I had expressions of frequency. This is, is not an advert of frequency, but it's an expression of frequency, okay? Uh, once a day, twice a week, three times a month, every day, go at the end, at the end of the sentence, always. In teacher, what's, what's that once upon a time? It's time expression too. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time. Mm. Como había una vez. Let me mm -hmm. see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Another question that you may have? Or erase una vez. Uh -huh, that is the meaning. Uh -huh. Erase una vez. Once upon a time. Okay. Number seven, it says adverse of frequency go before the bird, but after the bird B. Okay. After the bird B. Before the bird. Well, in this case, um, it is like an adjective, very tired. Okay, it is an adjective. Okay, number eight, it says we always have breakfast at home. Uh -huh. It's saying that it's before the verb, but the main verb that is have. Then we have, uh, in a negative sentences, the adverse of frequency goes after done or doesn't. Uh -huh. Often here. Okay, the same example that we have in the in the other sentences before. And finally, number 10. In questions, adverse of frequency go after the auxiliary verb uh, plus the subject. In this case, okay, the auxiliary is R. The subject is you. Are you <clears throat> sometimes tired at the end of the class? <laughs> that is a question that I have for you. Are you sometimes tired at the end of the class or always? Are always. you always? Are you 100%, always? 100% <laughs> teacher. <laughs> okay, si les quedaba un 10% de la batería, yo se las termino de, de descargar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry, teacher. Don't worry. Okay, good. Do you have questions about this? How to use adverbs of frequency in a sentence? A positive or negative or question? Do you have questions? Please let me know. I consider that these examples teacher, are, are uh, very clear. Mm -hmm. Carlos? Yes, uh, teacher, I, I would like to uh, have this website to uh, study in the uh, uh, gr gr the grammar of the advert of frequency. Okay, the answer. Do you, do you uh, share the website, please? Yes, I'm sending the, I'm sending the link that you have it. Ah, okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, guys, and finally, let me see. We already practiced with that website that it has very clear examples. I want that you write five sentences using different adverbs of frequency in the order that you already learned how to do it, right? So please take, uh, uh, let me see. We're going to have four minutes for the activity for, for the whole word seven. So you can take seven minutes. You have seven minutes to write that uh, five sentences. In your notebook, do it in your notebook. At nine fifty six, we're going to move on to 
the other activity that will be work on your homework seven. Homework tarea siete. If you are ready before that time, just let me know in order you can share your sentences, okay? You can use examples about you, or you can use examples about relatives or about your classmates or coworkers, anybody. For example, you can say, my example, right? My teacher usually drinks a cup of coffee. That is one example. Aquí tienes algunos. ¿Quién está usando un robot? <laughs> <laughs> Silvia, do you have questions? No question, robot. teacher. No? Okay. no question. Okay. La, le pregunto porque le vi la manita levantada. Perdón, perdón. Teacher finished, teacher. Ok, good. Me too, teacher. Very good. Tell me, uh, Carlos, your examples. Ok, I sometimes sing in the shower. Ok. Uh, I always study after class. Mm -hmm. I usually walk to work. Mm -hmm. I normally get good marks. Okay. I often read in the bed at night. Okay. How many, how many minutes do you read? Uh, teacher, this is an example. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I, I sleep, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but I really uh, reading the in the day, teacher, and the night is is, is rarely that I, I <laughs> rarely that I read. Yeah, rarely, rarely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, teacher. Oh, okay. Jos, <laughs> it's okay. Jose Andres. You are the other, you you said that you are ready, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I always get up at five o'clock. I often <clears throat> practice in the shooting range. I hardly ever visit uh, clients at night. I never eat fish. Um, and I hardly ever no yeah i said that hardly ever i rarely um, visit the 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 security wars on the mountains rarely okay good thank you so much who else is ready else if you are not ready please send I'm ready. Me the... okay Daniela go ahead I work every day I always have been for breakfast I usually read books I never drink wine I always go to the gym Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, um, I will send a link for the ones that haven't participated. I want that you, oh, Cindy, you want to participate too? And Robert. Okay, go ahead, Cindy. Okay, uh, she never come home early. 
I sorry. only. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat that? She never called. Comes. Oh, comes. She uh -huh. never comes. Home. Home. Early. Okay. I always drink coffee in the morning. She rarely gets the flu. He sometimes drink, drinks Pepsi. And um, Sandra is always very tired. Finish. Sandra is always very tired. Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Remember that when you use third person, you're, you all, you will use always the letter S, okay? Even though, okay. Even though you are using the uh, adverse of frequency, but the verb, no es afectado el verbo, okay? Siempre van a, le van a agregar la S cuando es tercera persona. Okay, I already sent to you a link where you can write your sentences, okay? I I know that I have exercises that you have been written. Um, I, I will be checking or I am checking the exercises. Uh, on Friday, we're going to come to review all of them. Vamos a revisar todos, todos los ejercicios escritos que han hecho. Uh, as, a, as a review, ok, solo para repasar, pero ya, ya eh, revisados antes por mí, solo los vamos a repasar en la clase, ok, haciéndoles saber eh, el feedback that I'm going to provide to you. So there you have the link, you can write your sentences there. Remember to write your name before or at the beginning of the sentences, ok, to make sure that you participate that you are working on my activities. Okay, good. Uh, now we're going to work in the platform. Exercise number seven. Homework number seven. Okay. My friends rarely, usually or never go to the club on Friday. It's really fun. Usually. 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 Okay. I never, I every day or I once a week have classes on Sundays. I never. I never. Okay, good. I don't sometimes, I don't always, or I, I don't usually drink coffee. Usually. I don't usually drink coffee okay okay birth always every day or on saturdays think in the morning always think in the morning always okay always she always is she is always or she always early for classes she's always, always early for class is always right remember the verb to be is used after the adverb of frequency and then is the the adverb or the adjective okay very good 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 okay good job now you can send it there you will have a your scores in the platform. Okay, some of you um, are missing some activities. Please make sure that you complete them because I have to report your scores. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the one that already complete the, the, all the activities for this week. The rest, we are good. We have 40% for this week. It's okay. Okay, okay. Mm, Juliana, please make sure that you work on the, on the, um, what, I mean, on this website, okay? On this um, platform, because we need to have your uh, scores. Also, Carla.
Mauricio de Jesus. We don't have any scores from you. I don't know. Uh, he's not here, but maybe. Oh, yes, it is. Mauricio is here today. Okay. And William Boris Roque, please make sure that you complete also your um, activities. Okay. That is the way that we are now. Thank you so much for the ones that are already complete. Then Cindy, Annette, Daniela, very good. You had 60%. Hazel, very good. Thank you so much. And Roberto. Teacher, una consulta. El número de tarea que vamos? Homework? Seven. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. We are in seven. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Julio, Carlos, Daniela, for your sentences here. I can see. I will check them later. Okay, spelling. Be careful with spelling, okay? Very good, guys. That, that will be everything for today. Thank you so much for your attendance. See you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Nice. Good okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Be careful. Okay, bye guys. Take care.